Needing positivity all around you Many life struggles trying to hold you down When your goal is being great to push through dark clouds That try to tear you down Why they want to tear me down? Libra, oh Libra What's up, giggity gang, 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 gang. What's poppin', honey? Did you miss me? Hmm. Hmm. Cause I missed your ass, Libra. Listen. Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss, okay? May cuss a little, may cuss a lot. Just depend on what the hell this lick read and what the hell these cards say. But, oh, I'm a cuss. So, if cussing don't work for you, please feel free right goddamn now to find another reader who, here on YouTube that can firstly assist you without cussing. This is my shit, all right? Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love, the donations, the reading requests, all that. Thank you so much from the most humblest space ever. Thank you. I really appreciate all of the love, Libra. Okay? Also, if you're new to the family, <laughs> hey, boo, hey. We a little dysfunctional around these parts, bitch. We a little dysfunctional over here, okay? We don't fight and fuss, however. We leave that shit on other people's channel. Oh, but we do cuss. We share. We grow. We love. We enlighten. Posy vibes, only positive type things, okay? This message ain't finna resonate with every damn Libra. Take what does, leave the rest. If that motherfucking shoe is too big, your ass gonna fall. And that's on period, okay? So don't be trying to put on a motherfucking shoe that don't fit you. Let a bitch who can fit that shoe, fit that shoe. The fuck, Libra, all right? Also, um, if you need a personal reading, I currently have a special going on until um, January 11, 2022. Check it out within the community tab. Or you can get a, um, and that's only a question reading, y'all. It's a question only reading. Meaning that if you've ever had a reading with me before, you know that I channel, like, I channel first. I give you a bunch of ancestral messages, a bunch of, like, spirit messages beforehand. Then we break into your questions. That message, that, those reading types are not that way, okay? Ain't no fucking channeling at the front. I'm just, you gonna ask your question? I'm gonna answer your question. Check that out in the community tab, Okay. Um, if you need a regular reading, that information will also be found within the description box below. Without further ado, Libra, let's jump the fuck in. Libra, listen. So, it's definitely groups of y'all, okay? I definitely picked up on the frequency of 101. I also seen 888, okay? You guys are aligned with the frequency of infinite abundance, okay? A lot of focus around abundance, prosperity, security, stability. But for some of you all, you having to choose the me in order to attain these things. Which is actually affecting the motherfucking weed for my Libras who have fucking partially left the damn building when it comes to a relationship. For some of you all, I do get the, the, the image of the temperance card where there is one foot in and one foot out the motherfucking door. I definitely pick up on this energy where Libras are plotting, straining. You guys are being very meticulous with how you do things. Also, I'm hearing overly self-critical, so be very cautious about being, really about how you fucking communicate with yourself. How are you talking to yourself? From what space are you manifesting from, Libra? Because for some of you all, I'm hearing something having to do with, in, with, an, with an internal so, something having to do with an internal rocky foundation. So for some of you all, this is actually you acknowledging destructive ass behaviors, okay? Do you motherfucking openly communicate how you feel or are you suppressing and expecting for another person to know because of the history that you've had? Some of you all, you're making a change. The other person, some of y'all are dealing with, y'all are in a relationship where you're having to acknowledge and accept the fact that you have mentally, spiritually, and emotionally outgrown someone. And for some of you all, due to children and some type of family dynamic, okay, or honestly, I just keep hearing history with a particular person, you don't want to rock the goddamn boat. You don't want to be the bad guy, but there's a lot of projecting, okay? A lot of focus around projection. Either someone trying to project their motherfucking negativity and they pessimistic ass fucking beliefs and behaviors onto to you are you doing this to another person inadvertently okay or unconsciously but again the need to self uh, self check okay really checking in with the self libra are you really walking within are, are you fully walking on this path of authenticity or are you just simply existing in a realm where you're succumbing or you are, are you overly sacrificing who the fuck you are and who the fuck you're being called to be for another person due to history do you not wanting to be the bad guy? Do to you not wanting to take the blame? A lot of focus on the motherfucking he said, she said, the you did it, you did it, you did it. A lot of pointing the motherfucking fingers, but nobody's taking accountability. And I feel like for some of you all, you're choosing, some of y'all is choosing to just, you're choosing your peace. And you're moving forward 
unapologetically, whether you with or without. And if your motherfucking growth make a motherfucker uncomfortable, then so it is. That's not your problem. But they're left. But both of y'all lessons to learn. Okay. In order for you to get to the next step or the next phase to receive your blessings that the divine has for you. Some of y'all is waking up, bitch, and you're choosing war, okay? Y'all acting like whole Aries right now. Some of y'all could be dealing with Aries, Scorpio, because I picked up on a lot of Martian or a lot of, like, rivalry type of energy. A lot of, like, def oh, excuse me, defensiveness. Also, suppression, the throat chakra. Some of you guys could be going through something with the throat, either a sore throat. Some of you guys could be going through something having to do with, like, respiratory issues. Some of y'all, there's a need for you to stop smoking cigarettes, okay? Stop smoking blacky miles. For some of you all, you're deep. There's a need for... This is a time for detoxing and purification. Like closing out old fucking cycles. Cleaning up all your motherfucking bad habits. In order for you to be alignment. To, to walk very like... <clears throat> okay. In order for you to be in alignment. To walk effectively, I'll say. Into your new cycle. Okay. For some of you all. Also, I'm getting... A, I kept picking up on this energy of like... Planning, planning, being in the motherfucking state of planning for now. I feel like, Libra, some of you all said that you were going to start something at the beginning of the year. Then we got to the middle of the year. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm motivated. I'm going to start that shit. Now we at the end of the year and you still motherfucking stressing about why the fuck you ain't start that shit. And there's a need for you to like really take accountability for <clears throat> the lack of time management. Because for some of you all, time management is going to be a big thing. As we go into 2022, because I kept hearing booked and busy, booked and busy. Also, I am picking up on something having to do with like reciprocal relationships. Maybe f for some of you all, Libra, you're tired of dealing with an unappreciative. Some of y'all dealing with a motherfucker that's very reckless by the motherfucking mouth. This person expects the world. This motherfucker wants you to cross the ocean for them when they ain't gonna motherfucking jump a curb for you. And for some of you all, you're able to see this crystal clear. Some of you all are feeling a bit foolish to open up for help because for some of you all, you could have lost friends behind this particular individual. I am picking up on someone having a violent nature. Some y'all could deal with someone some y'all could uh, the south is going to be significant texas florida alabama louisiana um mississippi but again i am picking up on something having to do with like acknowledging domestic abuse advocacy communication teaching leadership influential some of you all libras are very influential at this time i also picked up on this energy of like certifications mastership some of you all this is actually mastering your gifts okay mastering a craft taking up on a trade also furthering your education there's a lot of focus around expansion three 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 twelve thirty three okay um 12, 12, 12, 21 as well. Some of you all may have Pisces in your chart, Gemini, or be dealing with one. Um, Aquarius could be significant. Some of you all Libras may have like a fixed moon sign as well. I'm hearing fixed moon, fixed rising. So this could be an Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. For those of you who have fixed energy in your chart, I feel like Something is actually like materializing internally that's actually from the motherfucking spew within your external and cause a whole motherfucking shake up within you, okay? For some of you all, this is in a positive way where you're going to be inspired, you're going to be motivated, you're going to experience or have some type of epiphany that gets you on the motherfucking right track and helps you to open up. Uh, open up and share your feelings and share your true emotions regarding a particular situation where you feel as if you can't grow in. For some of you all, this is going to spew in a negative ass motherfucking way where I feel like both parties is going to experience some type of hardship or some type of hard lesson as it pertains to manipulation. I keep hearing manipulation, manipulation, okay? Um, <clears throat> the song I kept hearing for you all, Libra, I heard a couple of them actually. Um, I am hearing some of you all are going to experience some type of like test of humility at this time, okay? For those of you who have received some type of, um, for those of you who have received some type of certification or completed some type of program or got some type of degree, congratulations, baby. Hats off to you, but it's time for you to keep going, okay? Also, I am hearing something having to do with being ambitious, being focused on your fucking focus. You ain't got time to worry about him, her, them, 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 okay? For some of you all, Libra, you waking up and choosing war, you can literally be dealing with a Martian energy, Aries or Scorpio, okay? Because I did pick up on... It's like tip for t it's a tip for tat ass energy, but no one's verbally speaking about it. But it's like nobody's also addressing the motherfucking elephant in the room. Like both parties know what needs to be done. But I feel like either you or another person is holding on to another person out of spite. I got the scenario where <clears throat> someone feels someone feels entitled 
to someone's blessed stage because they really they literally started from the bottom or helped build up another person and now that they've helped build up another person maybe you or this person could be going through a hard time and the other person someone feels shitted on by the same motherfucker that they supported you get what i'm saying i'm picking up on this energy of someone like completely not liking a motherfucker deliberately i don't bitch i live with you i don't like you but I'm only staying with you because I be damn. Read me along. I've been through this too long. But I be damn if I see another chick on your arm, okay? Some of y'all, this a Virgo could be of significance with that, okay? Because that's Beyonce. Um, I'm also hearing, um, okay, so with that situation, I'm hearing someone will be damn if they see the same person that, okay, some of y'all, they it's like one of y'all will be damned if you see that person move on to someone who you know that they're desiring, but maybe you don't like this person, or maybe there's been like an altercation in the past. I'm hearing like some of you all be damned if someone move on to your rivalry and thrive. Okay, there could be uh, dreams could be of significance to that particular situation that I'm speaking about. But for some of you all, you have your you're, you're stepping into the ability or you're mastering the ability to like connect telepathically with other sub, with other people's subconscious. I am hearing that your emotions is actually a power. Okay. Tapping into your emotions and allowing yourself to feel instead of compartmentalizing your feelings, Libra, would actually be very beneficial to you because it's actually going to open up realms where you're able to receive information more um, well, more rapidly, okay? But again, I keep hearing something having to do with subliminals, the subconscious, the reprogramming of the subconscious. A lot of you all could be really tapping into like different frequencies. I'm also hearing something significant to money mantras, okay? Some of you all could also be listening to subliminal messages to lose weight is what I'm hearing, all right? This could be like subliminal weight loss meditations. This could be subliminal money meditation. Some of you all are seeing something coming in, coming into fruition. And it's going to help you to acknowledge the power of the mind. The power of you. You're pretty much your manifestation fucking abilities. Okay. For some of you all, I am hearing you. You're being tested. You're being esoterically tested by the divine. I'm hearing some type of humility test. For some of you all, it's like they're saying, remember that what goes up must come down. So on your motherfucking way up, it's like the divine is watching every, 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 every step you take, every move you make, every single day. Every, okay, did I mix Faith Evans with his version? I'll be watching you, okay? You're being watched. You're being watched over. You're being protected, Libra. I'm hearing it's it's your time to shine. It's your time to thrive. But be careful not to motherfucking... Be careful not to kick people that kick people while they're down on your way to the top. No matter what the hell happened, no matter what this person could have done, even if they've done this to you, it's like you're you're being called to a position of leadership or to be the bigger person. And what I mean by and I know Libra, I, I just literally heard somebody say, Bitch, I'm tired of being the bigger person. I get it. I get it. But it's not about other people. Understand that for some of you all, your 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 connection to warfare or What's going on around you as far as spiritual warfare? Honestly, Libra, I keep hearing it's environmental. It's external. It's around you. Some of that shit may be sliding right the fuck off your back. But your mama, your daddy, your sister, your cousin, everyone has their own unique path and challenges. It's not about judging the other person or talking down on another person or pointing out their motherfucking flaws. You can openly tell somebody about their goddamn self without being utterly disrespectful, Libra. Okay? Because I'm going to be honest. I, <laughs> bitch, I, I love y'all okay I, i'm libra rising gang gang but i was really trying to find a way to like deliver this message in a funny way because when i was tapping into y'all energy y'all i felt every fucking which way some of y'all feel some of y'all have been in a relationship for quite some time with somebody and you should you expect for this person to know the ins and outs of you you expect him you expect them to know the routine with the children you expect them to know you know what i'm saying how you are, how things operate, how things flows, but this, some of y'all is, you gotta, fucking, some of y'all is dealing with motherfucking short bus shouty, you get what I'm saying, and it's like, some of you all, you're having to accept, not allow, but accept that you can't change another person, or another person is having to accept the fact that they can't change you the way that you think, the way that you perceive life, relationships, uh, partnerships, collaborations, etc., etc., for some of y'all, you're, you're discovering that, some of y'all even hearing some type of clash with possibly a business partner or an investor or maybe you're the investor 
This could have to do with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Um, I kept getting Nicki Minaj, broke bitches so crusty, disgust me. They the bitch around, got the thumb and then, and the, this, the trust. okay, yeah, I don't know all the words, but I remember the, the part, keep a wet wife, case a bum, try to touch me, ill. Watch how you fucking treat people, Libra. And if someone has been very ugly to you, still watch how you treat people, Libra. It's this this is not a time to be matching no ashy ass motherfucking energy. But to teach that motherfucking energy how to treat you, but how you motherfucking hold your own fucking head up and be persevering going fucking forward and treat your goddamn self. Let another person know that my validation, my self worth, it's not it's not um it's not weighed or measured by how the fuck you feel, motherfucker. Okay? Balancing the scales closure some of y'all are hell bent or there's someone hell bent on getting you back i'm gonna show you i'm gonna you to give them sense someone is experiencing karma right now and instead of actually taking accountability for why these things are occurring for some of you all this have to do with complacency within a job you knew something was getting ready to end libra and you drug your motherfucking feet some of y'all just have to do with someone around you because i keep hearing environmental external but for some of my libras you on fucking cloud nine because you listen to your intuition you did that damn shadow work. You 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 literally mended. You made peace with your shadow, which is why you were able to embrace and openly and, and, and freely choose the motherfucking pathway of the light. You made a choice. Some of y'all are in this fucking in, in, in this position of needing to make a choice. I am hearing Abre Camino road openers. Okay, so some of you all could be researching various ways to manifest, bring things in. Okay, or you're actually seeing your seeds that you previously planted come into fruition. All right, so let's get into it. Ooh, bitch, I feel like I talked for a long time. All right, Libra, I kept hearing, "Where is the love? Where is the love?" Where is the love? 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 Where is the love, Libra? You don't have to choose. I feel like for some of you all, usually you're tired of being the only one choosing the motherfucking we when everybody else around you is choosing the me. So some of y'all is taking a page out of their book and motherfuckers can't handle it. You hear me? Spirit, give me um, a message for Libra. Give me two angel messages for Libra. Religious, spiritual, okay. Spiritual or religious community. Join with like-minded people for friendship and increase spiritual growth. Again, connecting with like minds, collaboration as well as beneficial contacts could be of significance at this time. For some of you all, you could be joining some type of like book club or religious organization. I'm also hearing something having to do with secret societies. I'm hearing Freemasonry, okay? Some of you all could also be researching, uh, some of y'all could be looking into documentaries. I'm hearing something significant to Charles Manson, okay? Some of you all could also be vloggers or be some type of influencer as well. Some of you all, there is some type of influx as it pertains to the community. I'm hearing subscriber count. So for some of you all, you, you're going to notice, a, like, a, a, I'm hearing rapid, rapid influx, okay? Rapid influx, you're growing. I'm also hearing, for some of you all, Libra, you have a very strong influence over the mental. You give people fresh perspectives and new ways of looking at things. For some of you all, I'm also hearing you're being called to be more vulnerable with your own personal experiences. Because for some of you all, you're walking testimonies and spirit is needing you to really share that. Because you never know who you're going to touch or you never know how your information is kind of like if somebody else has some motherfucking very helpful fucking information or very valuable tools to share. Would you want them to share that with you? It's like putting yourself in the in the shoes of another but from a completely humble fucking space. I'm, and especially when it comes to like career. Especially if you are a public speaker, a spiritualist, or you have some type of community in which follows you. I am picking up on a lot of people leaning on you, leaning on your knowledge, leaning to you, le uh, leaning and like leaning on your wisdom, Libra. Okay? Angel like. Some of you all also may want to go back to church or maybe looking for another church home. Angel like. Give me one more for Libra. Be gentle with yourself. And you guys got easy does it at the bottom of the deck, Sapphire. Rodesicrite. Be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. For some of you all, Libra, I'm literally hearing a door slam. Some of y'all could have to, some of y'all could be putting somebody the fuck out, okay? I'm literally hearing, what about my kids? What about the kids? 
This could have to do with a marriage or a long-term relationship. You could definitely have children with this person, Libra. I'm picking up on this energy of someone either moving out or someone changing the locks or somebody kicking. So I see somebody putting somebody's shit out. I am hearing something having to do with uh, revelations, okay? Something being illuminated regarding someone's sexuality, okay? I'm also hearing some of y'all going to find out that somebody ghosted you because they were like unsure of how they wanted to move sexually somebody also could have done the motherfucking unthinkable when it comes to like finances okay this does have to do with the masculine energy some of y'all could find out that somebody was actually like sleeping with the damn same sex for money and this person could have been lying about fucking going to work oh my goodness libra Ooh, that has nothing to do with that. But I am hearing whatever it is that you're finding out, Libra, don't be so hard on yourself. Because for some of you all, you're beating yourself up because you didn't you didn't pay attention to the signs. Or you feel as if you didn't pay attention. I'm hearing reasons and seasons, lessons. Acknowledge the lesson in order to move forward to obtain your blessing. You're being blessed for leaving a situation ultimately that, that your spirit guides protected you from. Because I am hearing STDs, but I'm hearing... Uh, spiritually transmitted diseases spiritually transmitted demons okay someone is like being plagued by incubus succubus spirit also something having to do with like sex addictions nympho okay open relationships sex parties okay some of you all could also be tapping into some type of like um i'm hearing okay so i'm hearing sexual sexual some of y'all could be using your sexual energy in order to manifest. So I'm literally hearing tantrics. Some of y'all could also be getting very heavily into tantrics or teaching this, okay? Workshops, seminars, courses, all right? You guys got Sapphire. Easy does it. Your health, happiness, and abundance require a gentle approach to life and work. Again, time management. Making sure that you fucking make taking care of your motherfucking self a ritual. I'm literally hearing spa day. Or for some of you all, being very careful that you don't over like that that you don't burn out or experience some type of like um I'm hearing anxiety attack. For some of you all, Libra, this is actually like checking in with self and your mental health. And making it a priority in order to do so. Again, some type of like life-changing experience or epiphany at play here. Okay, going forward. Or this could have recently happened. Alright. I'm going to leave that there. I want to um use my astrology arcana deck. If I have to read the damn book, Libra, you know, I ain't never claimed to know every motherfucking thing. But I'm really trying to, some of you guys could be tapping into astrology at this time. Or some of you all are opening up to start doing birth chart readings. Or maybe you're actually like researching your chart. Okay. I'm hearing line for line. Some of y'all also, some of these alignments that's been going on planetarily has been fucking you up emotionally, Libra. And some of y'all is like feeling like, bitch, listen. Jesus, take the wheel. Whoever you pray to, take the wheel, honey. Take the wheel. It's getting real ghetto down here on earth. All right. Taurus. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Taurus, all right? Some of you all also just have to do with, like, your career, the material, all right? Some of you all have been self-sacrificing. You, you, you're you tired of working with a mother. It's kind of like I've been with you for three to four years, and you ain't never bought me no motherfucking Valentine's Day gift, no damn Christmas gift. It's like some of you all are denying denying the luxurious side of yourself, okay, the, the indulgent side of yourself. Because you're working around another person when ultimately, like, you have a clear understanding that you could do something on your own independently. And it's making you really, like... Some of y'all tired of being a fucking team player. Also, I'm getting as above, so below. Again, a lot of changes when it comes to the material realm as well, Libra. I'm also hearing something having to do with, like, work, health. Some of y'all could be fitness trainers, nutritionists, dietitians, okay, or work in the healthcare industry. A lot of focus around uh, traditional medicine and holistic approaches to healing yourself as well. A lot of studying, researching, sharing, um, sharing your knowledge, okay, advocacy. Some of y'all, I'm also hearing something have to do with activism as well. Yeah, you guys got Lilith, the dark side of the moon, and you got Ascendant, how other people see you, Venus, okay? So for some of you all, you may be coming out very assertive at this time, Libra, okay? Again, you are love, okay? So it's no problem for you to exude love. But for some of you all, the reason why the energy has been a bit rough or the reason why you haven't been seeing eye to eye with another person, for some of you all, Libra, I'm literally hearing burnout. Some of y'all are experiencing some type of burnout. I'm also hearing people pleasing, acknowledging um, aspects of you that is like 
so overly critical that you find yourself giving other people your power through validation, all right? Again, some of y'all may also have a Taurus ascendant, or you may have Taurus within your Black Moon Lilith placement, but I am picking up on something having to do with um, procrastination and complacency, Libra, all right? Codependency. Even if you unconsciously realize that you're doing this, okay? Or maybe this is actually, or that you're allowing this. Some of y'all is having to motherfucking kill the monster in which you created with the fucking codependent motherfucker. Alright? Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm being told to read you guys Lilith. Lilith. I literally hear Mocha, what's Lilith? Alright, Lilith. The shadow. The symbols of this Owls, crescent moons, snakes, wands, cats. Some of y'all may be attracting a lot of cats or some of y'all may want a black cat or a smoke gray cat. I've seen those two specifically. Some of you all also have an Egyptian past life. Bastet segment could be significant. Some of you all could be dreaming of these, uh, of these gods and goddesses. Egyptian past life. Parallel universe, alternate realities. For some of you all, you're literally like in two dimensions at one time, out of body experiences. I'm also hearing something significant to someone like being a high priestess or a high priest, and someone like abusing their abusing their divination tools. So this could be somebody abusing tarot. This could also be someone. Um, I'm seeing somebody with a pendulum, sitting in their bed with a pendulum, asking the pendulum the same fucking question like two or three times a day as if the pendulum going to change his fucking mind. I feel like somebody feels defeated as it pertains to trying to like manipulate time or manipulate another person's fate. And it's really backfiring within the mind, within the mental. It's creating a space of psychosis or like psychological warfare that's being done to the self, self-sabotage shadow. Okay. Um, in folklore, Lilith was created to be Adam's first wife in the Garden of Eden. To Adam's shock and dismay, it turned out that she was an actual person with thoughts and feelings of her own. She refused to be put in a subservient position in their relationship, so she left. It is here that she is turned into a cautionary tale for women to keep them in line. Lilith is multifaceted and widely is, is a multifaceted and widely misunderstood creature in astrology. She is wild and animalistic. Vengeful and petty, erotic and mysterious. She is power. Lilith has four distinct forms in astrology, but for our purposes, she is taking on her asteroid form. This is what is known as her solid form, her physical body. In the natal chart, Lilith shows us where we absolutely, what we will absolutely not compromise, and also how to work through repressed anger. She is a transformative force that can be quite powerful when channeled into personal growth. When we start to stand up for ourselves, we often we are often faced with backlash and further punishment. Lilith asks that we don't back down. Continue to push forward. In fact, you have the capacity to downright destroy those who continue to oppress you. Call upon this powerful figure of womanhood when you feel like you don't have enough strength left. Sometimes strength is just walking away from the people who you are told that you are supposed to love or the goals and expectations others have set for us. Immediately I heard some type of repressed anger or someone needing to forgive a mother figure Libra, okay? This could have to do with abandonment because I feel like it's trickling down within your relationships and I feel like it's created some sense of a cycle that you are needing to take yourself the fuck out of. Also being self-expression and issues around suppressing your true nature. Ultimately not to rock the boat. Some of y'all don't like conflict, but in this space you looking real motherfucking unfamiliar to somebody in your space, Libra, because this person is not used to you standing up for yourself. This could even be some type of authority figure at work. Some of y'all, this is happening because you're being, you're being like, guided to leave that motherfucking job. Some of y'all literally have an issue with authority that actually, like, this is actually tied to a previous life as well. But the key words with Lilith is shadows, darkness, power, equality, mystery, wow, pettiness. Again, waking up. I just looked at my wrist. I got time today. Fuck it, I'm crossing the line today, okay? Listen, Le uh, Libra, I almost call y'all Leo. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo. Petty-ass Leo, tit for tat Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, um, Aquarius, Gemini. I didn't pick up so much Libra. Some of y'all could have been dealing with a Libra, and I feel like you're not having a meeting of the minds, or both parties feel as if they should be like, glorified or this is this is crazy okay someone also feels that somebody's not packing the weight with the child i'm hearing a baby crying someone 
someone is unaware that they're dealing with postpartum, some of y'all could also be dealing with a Capricorn. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, so give me some clarifications. Taurus, why is Taurus here? Second house, work. If you were waiting for employment, I do pick up on, I'm here in the second week of January. Some of y'all getting ready to get some positive news as it pertains to employment. I'm also hearing, again, entrepreneurship. Some of you all could also be getting or needing to get some type of vendor's license as well. I'm hearing tax prep. Some of you all are, are, are prepping for a tax season, okay? Some of y'all could be tax preparers, accounting, finance, real estate, assets, property. Some of y'all could also be real estate agents. I'm also hearing brokerage. Some of y'all could also be tourists. Why is tourists here? Six of Wands victory. Okay, so for some of you all, some of y'all, if you were dealing with the Taurus and you were and you were going through issues when it comes to someone packing fairly, someone now sees there. Someone had to lose you. Someone learns through loss. They had to lose you in order to appreciate you. And for some of you all, this person's karma is to watch you fucking be victorious. I feel like for some of y'all, this person could have manipulated you out of finance. I'm also hearing something having to do with slander. Like somebody, I'm hearing covert narcissists. Some of y'all dealing with a Taurus that's a covert narcissist. But it's like you're being blessed. There's karmic rewards or karmic retribution coming around for you, Libra. What goes up must come down. This person could have showed they ass when they were on top of the wheel. Now this, now the fucking wheel is turning you on top and this person is like really having to humble themselves and you were the last person that they expected to like need, okay? Someone could have also been trying to manipulate a tourist's path as it pertains to connecting possibly with an Aries individual or possibly a uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, okay? I feel like somebody could have been trying to use, somebody could have been trying to use sorcery or like magic or some form of divination to keep someone stuck or alter someone's path, okay, or slow someone down. But whoever this is, whether this is you or the other person, if this is you or this is an Aries individual, somebody's getting ready to get karma for motherfucking trying to play God, okay. I feel like, and this is going to hit them in the form of like work, material, somebody could have lost their fucking job playing with you like that, Libra. Someone could have also be experiencing some type of like, um, I'm hearing demotion, being demoted. Some of you all also could be curious about the occult, okay? Um, I'm also hearing cultural uh, cultural rituals, practices, okay? I'm also hearing root work. Some of y'all could, somebody could have recently bought the Hoodoo Tarot deck as well. Clarify. Reliability. For some of y'all, this could have been a Taurus relying on you for money. Someone was manipulating you. Also, I'm hearing sex magic. Sex magic, okay? Somebody using their motherfucking wand to get shit done. I'm hearing done one, okay? Some of y'all could be dealing with someone whose name begins with a K, D, R, T, V, B, W, P, S, A. This could be your initial or the person in which you're dealing with, all right? Again, someone also coming through. Libra, if you're going through anything financially, I'm hearing don't 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 choose pride. Be open to help or asking for help, okay? Be open to receiving help because I do see help being available here. Are you receiving some type of resource? I'm hearing in the nick of time. Something coming in the nick of time, all right? Ascendant. Ascendant emperor okay so for some of you all with this ascendant some of y'all may have an aries rising or venus okay you may have aries also within your saturn or your jupiter placement i'm also hearing something having to do with mercury or mars but for for, for some of you all this also have to do with some type of again boss up influx some of you all are being thrusted into a position of leadership you're being called to mentor or teach some of you guys could be spiritual life coach or work in the field of psychology some of y'all are also being called to work with children but more the less you're being called to lead libra okay some of y'all also i'm hearing some type of em some someone someone's empire is rising while another one is falling down yeah chariot you're being you're moving forward you're being ascended ascended okay you're transcending through illusions transcending through all obstacles all right again a lot of focus on calling things to you rapid manifestation things moving very briskly for some of y'all this is literally moving house as well some of y'all also i'm hearing transitioning within the industry so for some of you all if you are a spiritualist maybe you're wanting to break into the beauty industry some of you all are wanting to teach about um skin care um health care i'm also hearing hygiene someone's hygiene bothers you libra I heard some of y'all is being overly critical as it pertains to like love and allowing love. It's like you choose to find all of the damn negative things out of fear of getting hurt or out of fear of the need to protect yourself when you no longer live at that address. Some of y'all got Aries in your chart. 
I need to go watch the Aries reading, okay? Again, I need to defend yourself. Some of y'all, this is, again, acknowledging your own damn defensive ass behaviors. Some of you are also, this is also standing up for yourself or knowing that there's a need to stand up for yourself as it pertains to work, home, business, partnerships, your connections to other people, but also how you show up in the world. Some of y'all been sleeping on your damn self, Libra, and you're getting ready to experience a boss up. This is an alignment, aligning with the, freq with the frequency of infinite abundance. 888, eight, eight. fate, destiny, your birthright, stepping into your true north. Some of y'all got an Aries north node. Clarify, Lily. Yeah, three of wands, patience, the wheel. Some of y'all been patiently waiting, patiently waiting for a karmic motherfucker to get their shit together. It was not karmically written for them to get they. It wasn't karmically written for you to wait. That's the discomfort. That's the that that's the anger. That's the rage. For some of you all, also some of y'all, this is you patiently waiting to see somebody get their karma. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio. I'm also hearing some of y'all public, something have to do with public exposure. For some of you all, this could be good or bad. Someone could be trying to expose somebody's health records online. Some of y'all could also find out find out about someone's health records online. This could also be where the fuck you find out that someone likes the same sex. I'm hearing something about um, transgender, okay? Somebody's addicted to fucking trannies, okay? No, no, no shade. I love everybody. Y'all know I'm not coming like that. Don't receive me like that because that's not my intention. But I definitely feel like someone is like really going. You being forced to go on a quest, Libra, due to something coming out that is very uncomfortable for you to hear. I'm literally hearing someone being sick to their stomach. But I'm also hearing some type of health results coming back, coming back positive. Some of you all, this is actually like some of y'all. I'm also hearing HIV negative. Okay. This is also someone cheating and bringing home the unthinkable. Yeah, finality. It's done. This had to happen in order to ascend you to new heights, baby. For some of you all, I am here acknowledging a fear of success. You've become complacent at the level in which you are. This also has to do with the mastery of some type of teachings or knowledge as well. It's like you've, you've experienced enough. Some of y'all are cheating yourself out of the experience to love because you're so obsessed with the motherfucking outcome. You're so obsessed with a particular person that it's like spirit is like God is like I'm trying to give you what it is that you're praying for. But you have to understand that for some of y'all this comes with a sacrificial gain. You got to sacrifice some shit that don't motherfucking work in order to align with some shit that you have to create that does. This is co-creation. Co-creating with the universe. Give me three. Finality. Yeah, two of cups. Relationships. Some of y'all been manifesting love. So you got to motherfucking get rid of the motherfuckers who didn't know to, who, who didn't know how to appreciate the substance or for that matter receive that vibration. Some of y'all, someone doesn't receive you properly because this person never knew love. This person is addicted to chaos. They come from a fucking, they come from a family, a, 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 a generation of chaotic motherfuckers. And this person was sent here to break a cycle, but they ain't even, they, 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 they sleep on their damn self. How dare you care more about another motherfucker or put another motherfucker who don't give a damn about their goddamn self before you, Libra? I can understand why you mad. But forgive that person and forgive yourself and let that go. It already happened. It's time to go forward. Yeah, the habit. Dependency. For some of you all, some of y'all... Some of y'all are needing to acknowledge where you gave away your power and depended on another motherfucker to validate your efforts, to validate your love. You know who, do you know who you are? Because when you do and you're in alignment with that, you don't need another motherfucker to do that for you. You do that for self. This is about you forgiving the other person and letting that go. Accepting the fact that they can't be who you expect them to be, Libra, because they don't know how. Some of y'all are expecting something from somebody who don't know. Ex they don't even know how to give you what it is that you want. They've never experienced that. You were sent in their life as a blessing, as a teacher, to teach them this shit. And this person completely walked all over that shit and stomped this shit the fuck down to the ground. That is not your end all be all. God wants to give you more. Spirit wants to bring you infinite blessings. But this motherfucker ain't aligned with that frequency. It's time to grow. Some of y'all feel as if you're in a relationship by yourself because you and your partner is not having a meeting of the mind. Some of y'all dealing with somebody who's completely binded to the 3D. Yeah, page of swords. But this motherfucker is watching, stalking, hacking your phone because they feel the disconnection. 
But because neither one of us, neither one of us wants to be the first to say, neither one of us wants to be the first to say, neither one of us wants to be the first to say goodbye by Gladys Knight. Neither one of us want to be the first to say goodbye. Some of y'all could be dealing with another air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like someone presents themselves as being very confident, okay? Very knowledgeable. And very knowledgeable. But behind the scenes, this person could be very insecure. This could have to do with some type of weight gain. Something having to do with weight. I'm also hearing bule uh, bulimic. Someone could also be... Libra, some of y'all kids is eating and throwing the fuck up. Body shaming. If you have an air sign child, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius... And this child is anywhere between the ages of like 13 and 20 is what I'm hearing. This could be an adult child. Check on your children and their health. Bulimia, depression, anxiety. Some of y'all also, there's a need. Don't there's a need. Some of y'all could also be looking for therapy or there's a need to. Some of y'all have repressed traumas, repressed anger, repressed. Oh. Some of y'all are repressing. Something having to do with the family member and molestation. Because nobody believed you. But this was a part of your path, Libra, because you were supposed to be an advocate of assisting people with healing. You were supposed you you were look you were gonna be looked to on your journey to be an influencer as it pertains to acknowledging mental health, behavioral disorders. Some of you all, this is actually you creating and being innovative or you being inventive as it pertains to a fucking industry. You were not put here to work a job, but to create them. Charity. Giving back. It's a time to heal, Libra. And then it's a time to flourish. Because flourishing will be all that you will be doing in 2022. Give me some advice for Libra. Okay, move through fear, Libra. Stand your ground, Libra. Stand your ground. Talk your shit, Libra. Say what the fuck you gotta say. Don't fear the fucking outcome. Know that God got you. And you ain't never needed another motherfucker outside of yourself. Fuck the haters, block everybody, bitch. Everybody can get an RSVP to the fucking block party. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Perfuciously, expeditiously. Move through fear. Some of you all, again, this is you sleeping th sleeping on your damn self. Procrastinating something out of a fear of failure. A fear of how you'll be seen sharing this information, this knowledge. I'm hearing ancient knowledge, ancient wisdom, divination, symbolism. The occult. Some of you all could be teaching about the shadow aspects of the occult. So that people can discern the difference and not just hold on to an ignorant ass western way of looking at things. Yeah, visualize, affirm, and manifest that shit, Libra. Trust your intuition. It's time to move. It's time to move unapologetically, free of motherfucking guilt. When you know that you've done all that you can do, baby, listen. After you've done all you can, you just stand. Stand in your truth. Stand in your power. Hold your vision, Libra. And work through all of your motherfucking fears. Because it's your time. Alright, give me let me see who y'all dealing with before we get the hell up out of here. Who is Libra dealing with? This could be your thing, uh placements in your chart of the person in which you're dealing with, bitch. Taurus came out twice. Taurus. Virgo Moon. Who this? Who this? Taurus moon, Sagittarius rising, Virgo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, give me two more for Libra, two more, two more for Libra, Libra rising, Aquarius rising, Pisces moon, okay? So that could be who you're dealing with, the person um, that you're inquiring about. Again, your chart, okay? 
or wherever it is that you have these placements in your chart that's resonant to you, Libra. I pray that this message finds you in love, wisdom, light, a whole lot of peace, you guys. And I send you guys um, well wishes. And y'all, Happy New Year, okay? Happy Western Ass New Year. I'm going to tell y'all asses again around my birthday season in April. But until next time, I love you all. Bye, babies.